Hi and welcome to Activity Puzzle Book Compiler. My name is Ron Saker. Now before I get into showing you what this amazing software does, i got a question for you. Do you love wasting your time? Are you so fascinated with doing things manually that you've run out of time to consider doing it with automation? What I'm saying is if you're into the low content book publishing and you're doing puzzle books or activity puzzle books and you have to copy and paste, hang on a moment, copy and paste and yet do that again and again manually putting your book together and you think you've just made this beautiful puzzle book only go th to go through and find out you got three or four puzzles in the wrong place and the answers in the wrong place. How frustrating is that? That's called manual. You need to fire him and employ automation. Now that's what Activity Puzzle Book Compiler does. It removes you making mistakes. It removes the tediousness. It removes manual out of the road. It gets you well out of the road. So you can actually concentrate on working in your business and not for your business. So without further ado, you can see on the screen here a, an image of the dashboard. And down the side here, it lists all the things that it does automatically for you that you would otherwise have to do manually. Hmm. Yeah, I really think automation's the answer. Anyway, let's get into the software and I can show you what this amazing bit of uh, software would do for you. So this is the dashboard without all the f fancy colors. In here, obviously, if it's the first time you're using this, you need to start at book one. If you don't start at book one, then that's okay. You can start no, no matter where you were. You can start at book eight. Now, if you notice what happened then, so I selected, by default, it selected 30 puzzles. I went and selected book eight, and look, automatically it tells you that in all these folders here, I need to have my starting image as 211, and the last image is 240. Isn't that fantastic? I don't have to stop to think now, oh, if I've got the right, you know. Now, uh, 8 times 30, and um, yeah, so that's manual working here, trying to figure out what your starting image is going to be. It's done for you. Trying to figure out what your last image number is going to be. It's done for you. So you just have to make sure that between 211 and 240 are sitting in all these folders. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, so let's go back to where we had this on 1. And you see now that I only need image 1 to 30. Because I selected 30 puzzles. Now, in here, what I've done is I've given you a lot of low numbers here because I think this is uh, something as far as generating traffic. A lot of low content publishers and people working and helping others get into the low content publishing scene that don't handle I mean, I've only been doing this now for about six months and I was studying under quite a few others uh, and nobody actually spoke about doing smaller books. So you can actually put those on your website as lead generations or freebies, you know, to build your, uh, your uh, email list. Or what if you actually physically go to uh, an offline flea market or somewhere where goods are sold by installs, wouldn't it be, you know, take 10, 15, 20 of these, you, know, you can print them off and do them up yourself and just go hand them out to people, you know, they go, oh, wow, this is really good. And right throughout your lead generation, you have the web URL of where they can go and actually see the full complementation of, of all your uh, products. So this is something that, as I said, is not uh, very well uh, taught or even um, talked about. 
So I've done 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. You could even go up to 100. I mean, it, it's not that hard to go and buy a binding machine and, and a curl binder and go and do these up and, and hand them out. Okay, so off my uh, soapbox here. So now in the puzzles per page, you can actually have two or four. Now if I change this to two, my book pages, I now see that my book pages or my book is going to have 33 pages in it. Now if I just left this on four, number of books in my uh, pages in my book is 19, not number of books in my pages. <laughs> anyway, oh dear. So, and um, so if we go up to 100, four per page, we see that my book now has 53 pages. So if I go to two up, I now have 103 pages for my book. So we've already seen what the first and uh, the starting image and last image is all about. Now, in here we have puzzle name one, puzzle two name, three name, and four name. So each one of these correlates to the puzzle path. So in here, my puzzles are Furusiku. So now on my puzzle page, my answer page, above those puzzles, I can have the, the name of the puzzle. So people don't have to, you know, your users go, well, what type of puzzle is this? I can't find the solution for it. Sorry, that's me mocking. <laughs> Uh, don't do a very good job of that, do I? Okay, there you go. Uh, so in my second one, I've got the Sakaku. Third one, I've got the Alphabet Maze and Sudaku. I've got uh, for path number four. Now, what I'm going to do here, uh, because I want to show you just how easy it is, once you've got things set up, and if you watch the, there are other training videos in the members area that'll actually show you how to, to create and generate your puzzles and put them in your folder so it's easy enough for you to go uh, use the drop down box here dialog box go find your puzzles uh, mine are hidden just a little bit so we'll get there real quick yeah uh, puzzles there we go and my first one was Futusiku. so we'll go on there we'll select four by four uh, don't worry about the if the puzzles don't show because the software is not worried about that. All it wants is this path. So now we're going to go and get the solution. So we go back into that folder. Go See, in this here, you can see that it, and it shows you that there are images in there. But once we click into it, they're gone. Not physically gone, but they're, they're, they're no longer displayed. So the next one I want to go to is get the Sakakul. So we go down to Sakakul. And we just click on there, and then we go back to Sakaku. Wait for the solutions folder to appear. Click on that. Third one is my alphabet maze. So I go to my mazes, go to alphabet, go inside, click. Then I want to go back inside there, click on the solutions. Fourth one is Sudaku. So I've actually got some demo ones in here somewhere. Sudaku demo. There we go. Then we want to get the solutions. Uh, done. And now we need to get our PowerPoint template. So we go back to the F drive and go up to the activity puzzle book. Now, please make sure that when you, if you have already purchased the puzzle book uh, compiler, then the uh, templates are totally different. Okay. Don't use the, uh, you know, don't mix and match the activity puzzle book compiler. Make sure that you use the templates that are in there and likewise for the puzzle book compiler. So what do we want? Uh, let's say we go for the eight inch by 10 inch. Okay. So now if, you're happy everything's um all your settings are correct so now we just have to click on compile activity book and as we're waiting ah there it is so don't panic if you know if it doesn't show up straight away don't go sending in a support ah, it doesn't work because it doesn't come up quick enough have patience my son and daughters <laughs> As you can see, it's racing through. 
it has to create Ooh, excuse me. It has to create 103 pages. So it's done the, the front part. It's now going through and doing the answer section. A uh, paint dries. And i got to find something to keep you amused. Probably just listening to my voice is bad enough or good enough. Okay, so now the uh, Excel icon is blinking in the task bar. You can click on that. And it brings up your activity puzzle book has now been successfully compiled so we can get rid of that lower that let's go straight to the top here because this is these are just demo uh templates i haven't bothered putting uh the, the four different names of the puzzles in here uh i haven't bothered changing this to give the information or a definition of what a, what the puzzles are you can do that uh, make sure you, you don't leave this as 104 for the uh, solution page because if you excuse me if you scroll down here you'll see that it's actually only 54 so you need to make sure that you change that to the correct number now on here um, if you're not if your book covers aren't been uh, designed or using resources from free pick with and don't give them any credit get rid of it take it out of there um, so you need to customize all that this part top part here is pretty good you can leave that pretty much the same okay so Furuziku 1 Chicago 2 because this is only we're only doing uh, two puzzles here then we're obviously just using these two here and this puzzle and puzzle 2 so that's why you know you don't see all four so if, once again, Furusoku 1, Sakako 2, and if we go down to your puzzles, to the answers, we go here, you'll see that it's answer Futushiku 1, answer Sakako 2, okay? So that's fantastic. Let's get rid of that, and let's go do the uh, four up. And... There we go. So that's uh, bringing this, it's ripping through and doing your, doing the four up for you. So specified file can't be found. Uh, now I know why that's, why that's the case. Now, I was telling you before that you got to make sure that these images are available in each one of these folders. Now, what's happened is with my alphabet maze, I've only got 30 images done for those. So, of course, this is going to, you know, bar for that and say I haven't got enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to close that and we're going to go back here and we're just going to put that back to the number of puzzles, 30 so now when i click on and we'll also get rid of that powerpoint because that's useless no good to us and we'll click on compile activity puzzle book again and here we go so in this instance uh see we only need 53 pages so it should get through here really quick and let's bring this over here a little bit more well, while I've been doing all that, it's uh, finished. Your activity puzzle book is, is uh, completed. Oh, sorry, there was only 19 pages we needed. And you can see here now, with it four up, we've got Futusiku 1, Sikaku 2, Alphabet Maze 3, Sudaku 4. So that's, you know, that correlates to these here and to these folders. So now, when we go down to the answer section, you'll see that it now has answer Futushiku 1, answer Sekako 2, answer Alphabet Maze 3, and answer Sekako 4. So that's it. I mean, this is so... I just... I'm amazed that it took me so long to actually develop a, so a software like this um, to automate all the manual, tedious stuff that I was doing. It was just... I was, you know, so bored and got 
you know, sort of lost uh, interest because it was just taking so long to, to do things. So now that I've got this software, you can see how fast these books are compiled. So you really need to have this uh, in your arsenal as a low content publisher for your uh, activity books. All right, so and, and um, please do pick up your copy. I mean, this is uh, this is only available on Black Friday for ninety seven dollars. Uh, after that, uh, I may put it back up to its uh, proper price for two ninety seven, or at least uh, one forty seven or one ninety seven. But be rest assured, it is going up after Black Friday. So click on the uh, Buy Now button just below there and go pick up yourself a copy. I uh, look forward to working with you in the members area. I'm out of here. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.